Welcome back to my channel, The Cinnamon Show, where we learn how to prepare and cook food while listening to Afro Beats. Today we're doing something relatively easy. Straight off the tree into a jar, we are making, yes, Mulberry Preserve. As formalities go, if you like my content, don't forget to like, subscribe, drop a comment in the comment section, uh, share the channel if you will. Uh, yeah, without further ado, uh, let's get this party started, shall we? recipe our mulberries from the tree straight to the jar we're gonna have 900 grams of mulberries one grated granny smith apple i'm gonna tell you why we need that 400 grams of brown sugar and 500 grams of water so we've got ourselves a nice little fat pot right here now relatively if you're working with a larger pot the cooking process is usually going to be a lot faster so, mulberries in, sugar in, just throw it all in there, water in, boom, just like that. And then lastly, our apples. why we add one grated Granny Smith apple to our recipe because there comes a time where we actually need to thicken our preserve and by adding a grated Granny Smith apple it has natural pectin so if you don't have any gelatine or the likes of you know cornstarch uh, that's a brilliant substitute to thicken any preserve or syrup. It's been five minutes with our mulberry preserve on the pot now take out your potato masher and we mash. So we've been reducing our beautiful mulberry preserve and it's pretty much ready, yeah? As you can see, it's reduced from there, almost about three quarters. Um, so let's get that out. But how do we tell if it's ready? There's what we call the plate test. So what we do is just take a little bit of that liquid right there, get a plate, put it in the freezer. I've already done that already on the plate and then pop that back into the freezer for about a minute or so just so it can emulate what the preserve will be like when it's actually cold and then we'll take a look at that in a few seconds preserve out the freezer so this is where the test really happens we do that and when you've got like a nice sexy trail the liquid doesn't fall back into the trail we know that our preserve is reduced enough. If it's a bit too liquidy, you'll notice. And then you know you need to put your, you need to cook your preserve further on the pot. Mulberry preserve. 